In this video, we are going to learn the construction of evolutionary tree, which will be based on DNA homology. See, in this table, there are five species shown on the left side. These species are A, B, C, D, and E. And in all these five species, there is a specific segment of DNA in their genome, which have much conserved, you know, uh, nucleotides. So particularly the moderately conserved DNA sequences are used for constructing evolutionary tree or phylogenetic tree. So that specific segment of DNA has been sequenced in all these five species and the nucleotide bases are arranged uh, here in the sequence. So what we do, we go on comparing the sequences of different species and we want to see that which of the two species are maximally similar based on their nucleotide sequences and which are distantly related because those which will be distantly related will have very less number of nucleotide similarity. So in this process, I means we are going to learn the manual construction of evolutionary tree. So we actually compare the nucleotide sequences of species A and B. And in this process, we find that only five nucleotide variation exist between A and B. Five means at five positions, there will be variation between A and B. And that we can show in a separate table. So suppose this is a table where we are going to arrange the uh, dissimilarity which exist between the species. So as I just said, between A and B, between these two species, five nucleotide variations are there. Now we compare A with C. These two species, their DNA sequence is being observed. And uh, we find that two nucleotide variations exist between A and C, because here you can see, if we compare the uh, sequence G here at fourth position, then in case of species C, it is C over here. And here uh, it is C in species A, and now it has been replaced by G in case of species G, C. So uh, we find that only two nucleotide variations exist between A and C. And we also compare variation between A and D. We will be comparing variation between uh, A and E, Okay, A and E. So this way, uh, so many uh, combinations will be observed. Like if there are five species, then in total 10, such comparisons will be possible. See, between B and E, uh, we can compare uh, and see that how many variations are there. And based on the uh, results, we are able to construct this table in which we find that between A and B, between these two species, five nucleotide differences are there. Between A and C, only two nucleotide differences are there. Between A and D, three nucleotide differences are there. Between B and C, seven nucleotide variations are there. Between A and E, six nucleotide variations are there. Between D and E, seven nucleotide variations are there. So we have compared uh, these five different species among themselves and uh, we have found this data. Now what we are observing that between A and C only two nucleotide variations are there indicating that uh, these two species are genetically very close to each other. Likewise we find that B and D these are the two species which also show only two nucleotide variation in that DNA sequence. So they are also very close to each other. But the uh, fifth one, that is species E, uh, its uh, phylogenetic relation with these four will have to be established. So what we shall do, since we find that AC and BD, they show maximum similarity, so they are considered to be uh, to make uh, two, you know, uh, cases, that is A, C, make one cluster, they are genetically very same, B, D, 
they make another cluster because they are genetically very same and now the fifth one E will have to be considered. So for that we shall be adopting a method which is referred as UPGMA and in UPGMA means unweighted pair group method based on arithmetic averages and that is the way which can be uh, adopted to construct this evolutionary tree. As I just said, this is the table. Now in this table, we can see the distance between AB and C. So here we find AB and its relation with C. So 7 plus 2, its average will be taken, it will come uh, 9, means 7 plus 2, that is 9 divided by 2, it comes 4.5. And likewise CD with B, this value has also come 4.5. Okay, so 7 plus 2 and CD, its relation with B, that has come 4.5. And we can also have uh, data regarding the uh, similarity between DE and C, this has come 6.5. Then ABCD, like A, B, C, D, it's uh, similarity with D, E. So all these four values will be added and it will be divided by four. This will come 7.2. So based on these values, we can finally construct the table. So here we find that A, C that make uh, one group because these are very close to each other they have only two amino acid variations BD they have only two amino acid variations so it is another group and both are connected with each other and this connection will be of a distance of 4.5 which I have just shown and then the fifth one that is E it is being connected with these four and the distance between them will be 7.2 so uh, here all these four are being grouped with E. So we are finally able to construct this phylogenetic tree or evolutionary tree, which is based on UPGMA method, uh, where on the lower side you can show a line where amino acid variations will be shown. So here only two amino acid variations are there. So these two groups are very close to each other. Then there will be 4.5 amino acid difference between these two groups and the last one that is E, uh, it has maximum uh, genetic distance from all these four and this is of 7.2. So this is the way we can construct the evolutionary tree which is also referred as phylogenetic tree. But see for construction of such evolutionary tree, uh, there are certain programs available or uh, there are online programs and by using such programs uh, a large amount of data could be utilized for such kind of evolutionary tree construction.